Hello friends, welcome to beautiful Orlando, Florida. I am standing in front of the last open Radio Shack in Orange County. It's about to close this week. I wanted to come in and say my goodbyes to one of my favorite stores of all time. I love the place. I never went into the mall without stopping in Radio Shack. This is the last one. Let's go say our goodbyes. Just walking in here makes me reminisce. I'd never been in this location, but the smell of electronics and the parts and pieces, it's all, it's all the same. It's a great place. There's not much left on the shelves. Looks like something cool is in that box. The last remaining remote controls. They might go to stuff that's sitting around the store, who knows. Cool little guitar. Empty racks. Well, I just talked to Jonathan, the owner. He is incredible. He told me the whole story about the place and how they've had it since I think, 1956. Him and his brother took it over from his dad after his dad unfortunately passed away. And they've made a really good business of this Radio Shack and told me some new updates with the business. So they are closing on Thursday, but there might be some things in the future. You won't, you won't uh, be missing Radio Shack too long, I have a feeling. But let's look around here and see what they have left. I think most of what I showed you before is just some of the dismantling of things, but here are some actual products that they have left on the shelves. Piles of phone cases. Those are good ones. The iPhone 5 case. Does anyone still have one of those? Oh boy, that is an old phone. I wonder how long it's been here. <laughs> I don't know if those still work. I guess they still work. It wasn't until I started the World's Greatest Kiting YouTube page about five and a half years ago that I upgraded to a smartphone. And that was only because I could have access to a camera. Otherwise, I just would have kept my flip phone with no texting available. I love that life. Speaking of phones, look at these old things. I, my grandma had this phone. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> when I remodel homes, I often see these old phone jacks and I tear them right out of the wall. But here you can buy them brand new. Batteries, the big ones. Now where in the world are you gonna go to get all of these cool little items nowadays? I love all the little stuff. Now some of you might have seen my video from Skycraft here in Orlando. It's my favorite store of all time. You can go there and get little pieces and parts like these diodes and rectifiers and capacitors and things. But that's the only place I know of. If you don't live in Orlando, where the heck do you go to get all this stuff? Not every city has a really cool store like Skycraft, and most cities don't even have a Radio Shack anymore, so I oh, just guess you have to go online to get all this stuff. Transistors. Hmm. Containers full of little things. I love it. Resistors. I really don't know much about what any of that stuff does. I wish I did. I had some interest in it as a younger band, but never got into it that much. I know some of you know way more about that than me. And if you had any interest in building some kind of a board or you know, computer on your own or something like that, well, you got until Thursday to make your way in here and pick up what you need. My dad always came into Radio Shack to get parts and pieces for our sound equipment at church. I remember sorting through this kind of stuff, cables and jacks and stuff. Euro plugs. Here's some relics from Radio Shack history. There's the owners way back in the day, Jonathan and Gregory, old brothers. And there's them with old pops. Lawrence Toothman was the 
original owner of this Radio Shack, and this was his reel-to-reel -reel that he took a lot of pride in, apparently. It must be his uh, war medals up here on top. Purple Heart. Wow. My dad had a reel-to-reel. -reel. He loved that thing. Radio Shack basketball. Why would they make that? I don't know. Promotional item, probably. Wow. OG cell phone. The original GPS machines. It's huge. Look at an incoming message tape for a answering machine. A cassette cleaner. The Radio Shack 1979 catalog. Wow. Hey, when you're ready for some eggnog, I got some. Well, check it out. They got some unclaimed repairs over here. It's pretty lax around here. We're just enjoying their time, talking to customers coming in, reminiscing some some olden days of Radio Shack. Having a great time in here. <laughs> I love that. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at the last remaining Radio Shack in Orange County, Florida. It's been a really great experience. These people are so cool. I had a great time in here today. I met some other people, just patrons, and got leads on some other great videos and just enjoyed myself in here. It's too bad that they're closing down, but like I said, there might be a, a future for Radio Shack in Central Florida after all. More on that in another video. Friends, I really appreciate your company out here at Radio Shack. If you get a chance before Thursday, this video will come out on Tuesday, so you have two more days from today to make it out here and buy whatever you want. Get one of those old phones. They're 50% off. Say hi to Jonathan and the rest of the crew for me. Tell them Dre sent you. I'll see you in the next video.